What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about a topic that I've been seeing floating around the community, which is about the ability for players to acquire endgame gear far too easily, and the notion that there is a brief period of time in the early wipe where players can experience a true early game before things sort of resume quickly to endgame meta builds. This means that players are using lightly modded weapons with lots of heavy recoil, and fights are typically lasting a few seconds to minutes rather than over pretty much instantly. Obviously, in the context of this discussion, headshots are still headshots with any weapon in Tarkov, and it can kill pretty much anybody as long as they're not wearing a face shield. But that's not really the point that I'm getting at here. In my opinion, there's certainly some validity to the fact that people get end game gear too easily, but it depends greatly on your experience level with the game. On one hand, you have players like myself who've been playing since 2017 and know pretty much everything there is to know about how to acquire gear, the quests in the game, the early, mid, and late meta equipment, the map knowledge, and more. And on the other hand, you have a significant majority of the current player base that has only been playing Tarkov for about five to six months. So don't get me wrong, some of these guys are absolute monsters already at the game and are pretty good. But for many of them, the learning curve is still brutal and will take a little bit more time. From reading up on various Reddit threads, listening to my Twitch chat, and also talking to other content creators, it's clear that a significant majority of the player base would prefer a massive shift in how gear is acquired and the availability of the best gear in the game. People want more fights with crazy modded weapons and less best in slot meta equipment. But in order to do this, you also need to change many aspects of the game that people actually enjoy. And it might be a case that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I'm gonna be exploring some ideas that I've come up with or ones that I've read in the EFT community. And a bit of a disclaimer here, I'm also gonna be devil's advocate at times and I won't always agree with some of the ideas that I'm pitching out here. So first, one of the most common suggestions is the availability of Terra Group Labs would need to change at the beginning of a wipe. I've seen that people have been suggesting that it should also be considered quest locked. Now the only problem with this is the power leveling community and experienced players will have pretty much unlimited access to labs for a much longer period of time than other players. And I don't really see this as a particularly strong solution, but we can expand on it a little bit. I think initially after a wipe, the developers should consider putting a lock on labs that is only unlocked when a certain percentage of the community reaches a certain level. Exactly what level that should be can be debated to the end of time, but after the community reaches that point, then it can be unlocked for the rest of the player base as well, and everybody has the ability to play labs at the exact same time, but it also gives everybody a few weeks to actually settle in, do some quests on all the different maps, and not run best in slot gear right away. Although level locking, quest locking, or progression locking labs is one of the most popular ideas in the community, there is some significant problems with this, and that is, there's lots of gear in the game, and labs isn't the only way to get it. Farming scavenger bosses like Killo, Rishala, Gluhar, and his guards, or even raiders on reserve would be an easy replacement for players that like to farm labs immediately. And the early game loot farm would shift from just labs onto other maps and bosses for a short period of time before resuming to labs. And although there's a number of positive things that can come from spreading out the community into different maps to acquire their really good gear, it doesn't necessarily resolve the issue of acquiring the best gear early on. Another thing to consider is you can actually build some pretty good loadouts at level 15. You have access to class 4 body armor and helmets and you can build some pretty decent low recoil AKs that can take enemies out at any point in the game. The catch here is the availability of the ammunition. PP rounds for AK-74Ns, M855, and PS 76 x 39 are the most common. But this is important because I feel like these rounds are used and enjoyed at the exact same time of the wipe that people want to prolong. People have access to decent armor which can absorb more shots in the mid tier but have less powerful ammunition that can still kill players with headshots but is going to be absorbed by a few more rounds with body armor. And the availability of face shields here is limited or mainly found in raid at this point. The thing about Tarkov right now is there's simply an overwhelming amount of gear 
everywhere, not just on terror group labs. From military loot boxes, raiders on reserve, scavenger bosses and players who rush to level 40, the best kits and gear are going to be common and sold on the flea market only days after the Tarkov wipe anyway, and we're already seeing that now. One of the only ideas that I can think of to actually contribute to this in a positive way probably carries some negative implications as well. And that is by lowering the ability to buy everything from the dealers and making most of the gear, equipment, attachments, armor that is the best find and raid only. And this will increase the types of loot that you can find in your raid and whenever you survive you get that sweet find and raid status so you can list it on the flea market but this will also skyrocket the prices of the best gear in the game making them more rare but more valuable to players whenever they find it or kill somebody with it the same thing can be said about the best ammo in the game there are ammo boxes everywhere in tarkov so maybe it's time that we start using them sadly though we do still need to come to one realization rich players will still have a massive advantage over poor players and there is nothing that can change this and i feel like this is the core of the problem that has led to this discussion right here if it even is a problem people feel that they have an impossible uphill battle to face in tarkov at times they're tired of being one tapped or their bullets not killing players when they feel like it should or keep running into players that have the best possible gear when they don't the reality is you will always have to fight these players at times People will always want to run and use the best gear and I honestly can't blame them. It's pretty fun to run really good equipment and armor. It's fun to absorb those shots and outplay your opponents. The equipment is really cool to use and it honestly leads to you surviving more raids, which is ultimately the goal of Escape from Tarkov. Survive more. Honestly, there really even should be a discussion of fairness in Escape from Tarkov as long as you're following the TOS and not cheating. It's an issue that comes up with the thermal discussions all the time. The feeling of fairness. Players feel like lab farmers have an unfair advantage for some reason. Or players who rush to level 41st or farm scavenger bosses and we can go on and on and on. Because of the intensity of the game, it is easy for people to look for excuses on why they're not winning, they're not rich, or not able to run the best gear in the game and are looking for the developers to create a solution for that problem. If people want to make the game fair, they need to remove so many things that people actually find cool and enjoy and find fun in Tarkov. Bosses would need to have worse loadouts. Labs would be more restricted than it already is. Dealers would have to offer less loot. Ammo would have to largely be found in raid. Flea market prices will skyrocket to match this uh, supply deduction. Attachments would need to be found more in raid. Raiders would have to have shittier loadouts. Guards would have to have worse loadouts, and the developers would probably have to increase the amount of experience needed to reach level 40, 50, 60, and 70, or even add trader loyalty levels that provide attachments, gear unlocks at these milestones. But at the same time, the people that are complaining that gear is too easily to be acquired are probably also similar to the group that hate the grind in Tarkov and don't like the quests, and this doesn't seem like the best solution to me. The dealers would need to provide pretty much the basics. Weapons, attachments, decent enough ammo and supplies to keep the players equipped enough to survive their raids, kill scavengers and other players, but not the best gear and that would have to be acquired with find and raid status and sold on the flea market, or if you die, use it yourself or sell it back to the dealers. But I'm not entirely sure if this is the right move, but it's really the only thing that I can think of that would push the game in the direction that a lot of people are suggesting. Personally, I'm okay with the current state of the game for the most part. I find the new find and raid mechanics have brought some pretty nice changes to the game because it puts more value on surviving the raid. Your ability to make money too has greatly expanded because of this. This was a good move in the right direction and the correct mentality for Tarkov in general. These types of decisions and moves are pushing the game to become better and will help but not eliminate the ability to make money without risking gear. All in all, it's a very difficult topic to get right, and I don't think there's a perfect solution to this problem. People are always trying to run the best gear they can. The more rich they are, the more gear they can run and buy. Modifying or adjusting how this gear is acquired only makes players jump through more hoops to get to the same outcome. It's an incredibly complex and difficult solution to have, 
because the game works pretty well right now. And if you want to take Escape for Tarkov from where it is right now and make everything extremely difficult to find, there are so many things that need to change that the end result people might not like when they get there. But I will end with this. I do think that Tarkov would benefit if there was more time spent with less modded weapons and more difficult to acquire equipment and gear specifically from the raids. I just don't think the masses would prefer that Tarkov from the state we are currently in right now. I think if we just teleported to that version of the game and people got a chance to play it a little bit, they would get more value out of everything that they did and they might actually enjoy the experience more. And then also acquiring that gear or fighting players who are constantly not using the best in the entire game would be a really refreshing experience but one that I would say wouldn't come with its own certain set of challenges and it might not be a more enjoyable game. We would really never know unless we tried. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I think this is a really important discussion to have in the EFT community. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below or watch my live stream Monday through Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and we can talk about it there. Have a good one guys and I'll catch you in the next one.